Yeah, we actually have Muzzy on the line here to get some of his insight into this match as well. Muzzy, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you guys. Congratulations on your win. You moved to four and five now here in HPL. A little bit of a rocky start, but you've started to turn it around lately. Uh, what kind of difference is coming into your game? What do you think is being the big factor? Oh, one of the big factors that went into my play today as well as yesterday is trying to predict what your opponents are going to bring. Like, I looked at what JJ has brought in the past, but I also looked at the decks that I've played yesterday and days past, and that, looking at that, I figured out that he was going to bring Handlock and Rogue against me, and so I built two decks, the Rogue deck and the Druid deck. I, I also built others, but those two decks were the ones that I made to queue up his Handlock. That's why I played Dr. Boom in the Rogue deck. It's usually not seen in it much more lately, but putting it back in, it gives you a better chance against the Handlock as well as Druid and that factored into me coming out with the win today. Well, great points. Just great analysis there from you. What I want to know is going into that last game, you said you feel advantage on the Druid side against Rogue, but it got turned around on you there. Were you a little nervous that you might be going to a game five? Yeah. Lately, like, I, I feel like Combo Druid is still favored against Rogue, but in the past couple of Rogue Druid games that I've had, Rogue has always gotten the upper hand, so I don't know. I, I still feel like the Druid's favored in that matchup, but I, I felt a little bit of pressure when he when he queued the Druid into my Rogue, but I knew I ran Dr. Boom, and I had a lot of four drops, both teachers, uh, or one teacher, both shredders, and I just had to curve that game and just out-tempo him, and he couldn't do anything about it. And kind of speaking of pressure, you had to be feeling it early on with the way that your record was going. But now you're getting close back to that 50-50 point. Uh, what do you think your chances are for making top eight in, this, in uh, this season? I feel like if I continue on this trend, researching my opponents, researching my own decks and my own play style to try to predict what they will bring, then I can uh, have a really good shot at making it into that top eight and getting to that land. Utilizing every facet of the game is certainly important, and I think you've been doing a much better job of it towards the middle part of the season than you were early on. Congratulations on your win tonight. Yeah, good HBO. job today, Muzzy. Thank you. So it's kind of turning around his study a little bit. You know, early on, this is something we've seen from a lot of players. They were very focused on how to beat the metagame, just of so Hearthstone in general. Weren't taking into account that very personal factor of what is my opponent going to play? But as we see players doing that, the matches are getting tougher and tougher for every single player. Yeah, I love seeing the second level of a metagaming here from him. You know, he's not just like, what is Super JJ going to play? No, what does Super JJ think I'm going to play, and what is he going to do to counter that? So it almost looks like a third level here. You know, it's layer upon layer upon layer, and he just goes that one step further, and he sounded a little bit more confident to me in that uh, interview. I love seeing this from Muzzy. I expect big things out of him going forward. Simple rules do not mean a simple game. I can tell you that. There's a lot of things <laughs> that every single player is doing. Because remember, they're trying to fight against you, not the easiest game in the world to play. And if you guys want to see exactly how this matchup panned out and how Muzzy tackled it, you can head over to pvplive.net and see the recaps for yourself. Everything that happened in this game, full stats breakdowns, VODs are going to be going up, the full schedule, who he's played so far, and who he's going to end up playing in the future. So that's our first match in the books right now. Muzzy takes it three games to one, but we've got two more matches for you tonight, and our second one is going to be Purple versus Cowley. We're going to be setting that one up when we come back and then getting underway. Don't go anywhere, guys. You're watching Hearthstone on PvP Live. Heart's racing and it's getting pretty. Part two.